I've never, in my four years of working here, I've never sat on the table where we're talking okay. about a second round pick. But this is LeBron James' son, and Thank that is you. a legitimate storyline that one of the greatest of all time has a son trying to play in the NBA at the same time. And you have to give credit for actually trying to say the right thing, yeah. showing up in the right places, and at the end of the day... And by the way, I like seeing LeBron you. in the stands as a proud dad. I like that. that that's this a great example for fatherhood. the number one scorer in NBA history. What does that have yeah. to do with his son being I mean, at look, the draft Scottie combine? Pippen's kid was my, playing the, uh, on the Lakers. Well, my, we didn't shine the light on Scotty Pippen's son like this. We can't move the goalposts and feel like we go do okay, it when it's so convenient when, 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 for, when for us. Say, when we say Nepo baby, that means that you have the same career, you know, parents to child. And so for those... Somebody's a Hollywood exactly. producer, their son or daughter the gets a job. But yeah, he has it. the same dreams and he does get a little bit of the benefit yeah. of the doubt. This I wish is him, the guy I who wish has, But can we talk about this, y'all? This is a guy that who's given his life to the game. LeBron yeah. James. Oh. And if and if the so oh, byproduct no is that Ronnie gets a little bit of a nod, maybe, maybe there is, though. Maybe that's okay. Because like, right now LeBron is still at the peak of his game where he has the leverage to maybe get the Lakers and maybe And guess what? Maybe the team you that want it that way. May, I, I wouldn't. However, if it's got to be done, it's got. That's the only way. That's the only way. Bought and paid for. Just look at those ESPN clowns right there praising Bronny James when the praise is not deserved. Anyways, though, this is sports guy talking that you guys are watching and listening to. I am Dustin Tran, your host, as I am here today to talk about the draft stock of Bronny James in the 2024 NBA draft. Even though Bronny James averaged less than five points a game in college, he has been receiving a lot of draft coverage compared to his peers. In fact, Bronny James has received more draft coverage than the main draft prospects that are projected to go in the lottery. Before I say anything else, though, I want to present you guys with a topic question. So here it is. Do you blame LeBron James for Bronny James getting overhyped by the media? Of course, I'm going to blame LeBron James for this. Are you kidding me? Is that even a real question? Of course, LeBron James deserves blame for his son getting overhyped by the media. And look, I get it for LeBron James. He's the father of Bronny James, and I'm sure he wants his son to be successful in society and more importantly, be successful in the NBA. But we all know that LeBron James holds more power in the National Basketball Association than anybody else players, coaches, GMs, executives, owners, whoever. We all know that LeBron James owns the most amount of power in the NBA and he gets to control the narratives more than anybody else in the NBA. And we all know that Bronny James is not deserving of this hype. How can you justify the hype of Bronny James when he didn't even average five points a game for USC last season. You look at how Bronny James, yes, is he a solid defender? Absolutely. This guy actually plays defense to his credit. He doesn't take a possession off, not like his dad, who tries to low manage when he's on the basketball court. But Bronny James, he plays defense the right way. But you look at Bronny James' game in general, it's just not very good at all. It's not very polished. According to NBA scouts, Bronny James is going to be a poor man's version of Davion Mitchell. I guarantee you guys that a lot of people have never heard of of Davion Mitchell. I barely know who Davion Mitchell is, and I'm a diehard fan of the NBA. So if I already have trouble remembering who Davion Mitchell is, what do you think the casual fan is going to think of when you say Bronny James is a poor man's version of Davion Mitchell? They're going to say, who? Excuse me? Who the fuck is Davion Mitchell? I never heard of no Davion Mitchell, and you want me to get hyped up over Bronny James? And I saw some people on Twitter were talking about, oh, Bronny James is going to be good for NBA ratings. Man, shut up. Look at how Bronny James' dad isn't even good for TV ratings anymore. Some of the lowest rated finals in NBA history were because of LeBron James. You look at the 07 finals, LeBron James was in the finals that year. You look at the bubble finals that year in 2020, lowest rated finals ever in NBA history. LeBron James has been responsible for people boycotting the NBA and obviously He's a lot better of a basketball player compared to his son. And people are out here telling me that Bronny James is going to be more relevant than a lot of these draft prospects. Man, get the fuck out of here for the people that are thinking that because that is a ludicrous take. That is a horrible take. That is a terrible take. I don't care how you say it, but it's just awful and it's flat out trash. People who are raving about Bronny James are clearly uninformed. Now, look, am I saying that Bronny James is going to be a trash NBA player? No, I'm not going to guarantee that because I think Bronny James can be a solid role player, but that's all he is at best. And that's probably being generous. I'm not saying that Bronny James can't ever improve as a player in the NBA. We've seen 
second round players in the NBA become solid players for years. But Bronny James probably shouldn't even be in this position to begin with because how many guys can average less than five points a game off the bench and then get drafted into the NBA after one season? Usually those kind of guys, they got to transfer to another college to get more playing time or they end up getting drafted after four years into the NBA or something along those lines. Usually those guys don't get drafted right into the NBA, but because this is LeBron James' son, oh, we have to go ahead and draft this guy. And I showed you guys that clip to start off the video because I wanted to show the delusion that was surrounding ESPN obviously we know that those women are bought and paid for we all know that they are a compromise of their interest and that they know absolutely nothing about the nba they know shit about the nba actually but it's a whole nother discussion for another day we all know that lebron james and his cronies and clutch sports paid off those folks to rave about Bronny James because anybody that watched Bronny James last year knows that he's not a good basketball player whatsoever. Am I saying that he will never be good? No, I'm not saying that. But what I am saying about Bronny James is that his game is severely raw and it's far from finished. I guarantee you guys that you couldn't name me 10 prospects that are going to be going in the lottery this year. That's a problem in and of itself because when you think about the lottery in the NBA, that's where all the main stars get drafted to. And obviously, if Bronny James James, a second round pick at best is already receiving all this attention compared to the actual draft prospects that are actually good that is a problem in and of itself that tells you that the nba sucks at marketing the product whatsoever but why am i not surprised this happened because the nba has sucked at marketing during the adam silver era because what is adam silver known for being a weak warden and i say weak warden because all he does is let the players steamroll over him the players run the show and obviously the players get to go woke which means adam silver goes woke which in turn causes people to leave the nba and now you want to give people another reason to not watch the nba another reason for this is because of nepotism if Bronny james gets drafted by the los angeles lakers or any team in the second round of the nba draft that is a huge red flag in and of itself because how can a guy that didn't even average five points a game and he wasn't even a starter at usc a team that didn't even make the march madness tournament gets drafted into the nba and bam he gets playing time in the nba this guy should have to go overseas if anything but obviously Bronny james is not ready to play professional basketball but it doesn't matter because lebron james is the father of Bronny james and we all know that lebron james must get his boy into the nba but why am i not surprised lebron james is doing that because he obviously tried to get his friend jj reddick high into the NBA and he did that successfully now you see his friend JJ Redick get a head coaching job even though he's clearly not qualified to coach the Los Angeles Lakers I'm not saying JJ Redick doesn't know the game of basketball but what I am saying about JJ Redick is that he is unqualified to be the head coach of the Los Angeles Lakers but LeBron James didn't care and this is the same guy that has fired coaches repeatedly because they didn't have enough experience now he wants to get JJ Redick a guy with zero experience in the coaching profession but I mean this is nothing short of what LeBron James does. We all know LeBron James. He likes to bring in his friends and family into the equation, even in positions that they are not deserving of. And what he is doing with Bronny James is quite frankly, no different. That's why I blame LeBron James a lot for this current situation, because he could have easily told the media to tone down the hype of Bronny James. Instead, he has done nothing but gas up the hype surrounding Bronny James. And he has even leveraged himself into saying that if the Los Angeles Lakers don't draft Bronny James, he is going to leave the Los Angeles Lakers. But we'll see what happens with that. I highly doubt LeBron is going to leave the Lakers because they hired his boy, JJ Redick. We all know that LeBron James loves the LA life. And I fully expect the Lakers to draft Bronny James in the second round of the NBA draft. Do I think they should do it? Absolutely not. But I think they are going to do that in order to please LeBron James. I mean, we all know the situation surrounding LeBron James and his son. We all know that they have a close relationship with one another but i quite frankly think that lebron james needs a reality check on Bronny james's draft stock because we all know that Bronny james is not worthy of being a second round selection in the nba draft even though everybody knows that the nba is going to make sure that Bronny james gets drafted somewhere in the second round it's probably going to end up being on the los angeles lakers but we'll see what happens so that is why i blame lebron james for Bronny james getting overhyped by the media as he could have easily told the media to quiet down the hype surrounding Bronny Ronnie James in the 2024 NBA draft. Remember, go ahead and subscribe to Sports Guy Talking, like the video, and please comment down below. If you guys do that, I may shout you guys out in my Instagram story every Monday. That'll be for the at Dustin Tran. 
Instagram account. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Dustin as Tran and that sports guy talking. Also, go follow me on Twitter at Dustin as Tran. Again, go ahead and do those things that I just told you guys to go do. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the content that was just produced. Peace out. I hope you enjoyed that video. Want more Sports Guy Talking, the home of great sports content? Make sure you click that subscribe button to get the latest from Sports Guy Talking. Go ahead and like the video. Comment down below. Check the description box on the video in order to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from the YouTube channel, Sports Guy Talking.